A few months after returning from the Japan trip, Daniel was pleased with how much the app has helped him make planning smoother. He decides to reuse holiday makers to plan an eight-day trip to London to celebrate the festive season with his family. Daniel uses the app and proceeds to create a new itinerary. He enters London, UK as the destination and enters 10th December 2017 to 17th December 2017 as the trip duration. Being a loving father, he selects the categories shopping, dining, kids and entertainment with his kids in mind. He sees various itinerary suggestions such as UK for families, UK and the shopping craze, and UK for foodies. Daniel selects the UK for families template to view the activities it contains. This template has attractions such as National Maritime Museum, National Portrait Gallery, and Wembley Stadium. Though these attractions are family friendly, Daniel feels that his children might not be able to appreciate them. Thus, he did not choose this template and proceeded to view other templates. He browses through the other samples but feels that none suit his family as they are too specialised and decides to create his own itinerary. He names the itinerary UK Tea Time and also keys in Royal Garden Hotel as his accommodation. Daniel proceeds to use the recommended search and refines his search by entering kids into the search bar. He adds London Zoo. Madame Tussauds London. as well as London Science Museum. From the recommendations to day one of the itinerary. Moving on to day two, Daniel utilizes the map search to explore attractions near his accommodation. Places such as Kensington Palace, Sadler's Well Theatre and Royal Opera House appear. The attraction Kensington Palace captures his attention and he views its description. As his family has yet, to, has yet seen the Royal British Palace, he decides to add it to an itinerary. To make travelling on day two more convenient, he wants to have all the activities in close proximity. He explores the surroundings of Kensington Palace from the map search again and adds Hyde Park. Using the map view, Daniel takes a look at the map of day 2 to see how far the attractions are from one another. He then moves on to day 1 and takes a look at its map view. He notices that London Science Museum is far away from other day 1 attractions. So he decides to shift London Science Museum from day 1 to day 2. Daniel wants to start off day 2 with an education activity for his children, ending it with an evening stroll in the park. He rearranges the order of activities such that London Science Museum is first and thereafter Hyde Park. He uses the map view again to see the route and suggested direction. Daniel then decides to share the itinerary with Rebecca to ask her for her opinion on the first two days of the itinerary before he proceeds to plan further. Rebecca receives the notification while she's on the way to work. Upon viewing the itinerary, she notices London Science Museum as a planned activity. After scanning through its description, Rebecca feels that their children might find it boring and indicates to her dislike for the attraction. She wrote, it's a school holiday for the kids, spare them the pain, when prompted. Daniel gets notified of Rebecca's dislike on an item in the itinerary. Curious, he checks what attraction his wife has disliked. Reading her comments, he agrees with her and decides to make this trip a fun-filled experience for his children and stays away from school-related attractions 
removing the London Science Museum from the itinerary.